I'm Jessica Walters with the Daily JCTV News Update. This evening, come to the U of J Homecoming concert. The pre-concert reception starts off at 7 p.m. with the concert starting at 7.30. The homecoming concert will begin in the Demel Auditorium and moves to the Voorhees Chapel. Performing there will be the Wind Ensemble, the Big Orange Pet Band, Chapel Choir, and the Concert Choir. The concert is free and open to the public. Tonight, there will also be the homecoming bonfire at 9.30 p.m. Come out to the grassy area across from Nerling Dormitory and the Wilson Arena. With National Feral Cat Day, October 16th, this month there will be a J-Cats food drive. Food donations would be greatly appreciated for our campus friends. Dry cat food and other donation items can be left in the donation box outside of Library Room 110. To all those giving donations, please put your name and address on your donation so you can be recognized. The J-Cats prefer Friskies, Whiskas, Meow Mix, Nine Lives, Purina Cat Shell, Purina Kitten Chow, and Dad's Brand Cat Foods. Monetary donations can be made to J-Cats Feral Cat Program and can be taken to the business office. Any and all donations are welcome for our furry friends. Let's fill up those donation box because every little bit counts. Eight members of Congress were arrested during a Tuesday immigration rally on Washington, D.C.'s National Mall. Several House Democrats sat in the middle of Independence Avenue blocking traffic during rush hour. The representatives, Minnesota's Keith Ellison, Georgia's John Lewis, Arizona's Raul Grijalva, New York's Joseph Crawley and Charlie Rangel, Texas's Al Green, Illinois's Louis Gutierrez and Jan Schakowsky were all arrested by U.S. Capitol Police. The congressmen were charged with crowding, obstructing, and incommoding. And there will be a process by the U.S. Capitol Police. The rally was organized by a group called Camino Americano and was aimed at urging Congress to pass immigration reform, allowing individuals who are illegally in the U.S. to apply for citizenship. The demonstration took place on the legally closed National Mall and was only allowed by National Park Service because it was considered a rally guarded by the First Amendment. President Obama signed a bill late Thursday to pay death benefits to families of fallen soldiers during the partial government shutdown, despite the fact that charity group the Fisher House Foundation has already entered into agreement with the Pentagon a day earlier to provide these benefits. The Senate approved the bill Thursday afternoon after it was cleared by the House a day earlier. The bill reinstated the $100,000 death gratuity payments to military families and resumed funeral and burial expenses. The funding has been suspended as a consequence of the partial government shutdown. The Pentagon typically pays out these $100,000 payments within three days of a service member's death. 29 members of the military have already died on active duty since the government shutdown began last Tuesday. Now for your three-day weekend weather report. Today we will have a high of 62 degrees and a low of 42. We've already been having quite a few bouts of rain with accompanying thunderstorms today. We will see some AM showers on Saturday and we'll have a high of 56 degrees and low of 32. Sunday will be partially cloudy with a high of 54 degrees and a low of 40. Thank you for tuning in to JCTV. I'm Jessica Walters, and go Jimmies.